I am still here in Somaliland. I know most of you are going to say I've been here for so long, but hey, I just love being in Somaliland. If you all can remember my first episode from Somaliland, I said it's one of the safest places that I've ever been to. And if I have to testify that, then we have to go on a road trip. <laughs> but before we hit the road, let me share this great announcement to all Africans in the diaspora. Are you in the diaspora and seeking to invest in Ghana? Do you need first-hand information on investment opportunities in Ghana? Then, join us at the maiden edition of the Ghana Diaspora Investment Summit, powered by the Ghana Investment Promotion Center, GIPC, at the Kempinski Hotel Accra from 23rd to 24th June 2021. We will discuss the new normal and how to leverage diaspora investment to build back better. This event is under the auspices of His Excellency, President Nana Adudan Kufuado, and partnered by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration, the Diaspora Office at the Office of the President, beyond the Return Secretariat of the Ghana Tourism Authority, and the Diaspora African Forum. To participate, kindly follow GIPC on all social media platforms at GIPC Ghana or call 0505-723-242 or 0505-724-006 to register. This event will stream live on all GIPC social media platforms. Let's grow in Ghana and grow with Ghana. This is a great news to each and every African living in the diaspora, wherever you are, even if you're in Ghana, you can still check in the description box. Make sure you register and attend the virtual conference. And in case you are going to be there, I will be there too. Ta, checking photos. Brother. Celebrate. It's a memory. It's my Ce first time Ce ever celebrate. to Borama and to Amud University. Like Brother, it's, it's history for me. I'm really happy. I'm really happy that we joined the experience together. Welcome to my city, bro. Your city? How is that even possible? I okay, came I'm here. I'm from Burma, bro. I came here 30 seconds before you. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even, be, I can't even be, 30, be here 30 seconds before me, man. Huh? Is that even possible? Bro, just like you said, mm -hmm. it can't rain. Here, point it. It can't rain. Yeah. But it's raining. It's raining. I only did. Somaliland, it's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana baby, right here. You all know that I really love road trips, right? But sometimes it's not really safe to do road trips in Africa. Sometimes it's really a great struggle to travel by land here in Africa. You know, I came to Somaliland via road and it was such an amazing experience. And you know what, I've been here for so long and I really want to try another road trip in here so i got uh my friend all the way from mogadishu his name is mokitar i mean we met in uh, mogadishu and he came in here and he's like what am i you have to take me to boroma how can you come from mogadishu and tell me to take you to boroma i'm not from here but you know what we still got samia hashi who is a perfect driver so she's like you know what i can take you guys to boroma and i'm like yo if that is the case then this is gonna be way sedanta high you know what Come, no, why are you guys not coming? You know, come on. I'm giving you all these hives and you guys are still behind the scenes, man. Let's go. Mokita. Hey. Mokita. What's up, man? Mokita. Yeah, good to see you, bro. Mokita, good to see you. Good morning. Morning. Yes. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Welcome to my beautiful country, bro. Welcome to Grand Hadi. <laughs> Yeah, so we, we, we actually stay at Grand Hardy, uh, I mean one of the best hotels in here and it's actually owned by a Somalian, I mean a diaspora, she came back and then established this beautiful hotel in here. So I think, you know, when you spend your money in here, it actually goes back to the locals and that is a beautiful thing. So Samia, you want to say something? Let's do this! Oh, let's do this!
the journey just began man uh, we are actually 106 kilometers away from Boroma and I believe that it's gonna be a good trip right yeah it's gonna be a good Camel trip crossing come here crossing us are you sure it's gonna be a good trip and come here hey cross the road no 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 yo man <laughs> come here run away bro so this is how it is man like camels are like everything to the people of um Somali and um, they, they said camel means oil you know the oil money is equal to camel money I want to know yeah how precious is camel to him yeah 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 yeah. Okay. And okay. Then, in comparison to other countries, if I was to give you an example, <laughs> it's <laughs> as valuable to what other countries produce, like oil. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's as valuable as what oil is to other countries. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was so deep, man. So, yeah, anything you want to say before we get to Boroma? Yeah, what's up, man? Yeah, I'm so excited, man. We're going to Boroma. Actually, it's my first time to Boroma. I'm so excited. I've been dreaming to go to Boroma at the perfect time. It's really the best time. It's the rainy season. It's Ramadan. Like, nothing better than that. And now with the best crew, bro, we're not playing here. You're not playing here. Yes. With the best crew and the best driver. Exactly. Business. Everything is <laughs> perfect. So we're so excited at the moment. Check out the video soon, guys. traveling by road here in Harigese I mean moving from Harigese to another place and um, I mean we use um, road to Berbera also we went to Las Gil via road and today we're going to Boroma via road and I will say one thing man the landscape in this country is breathtaking man you gotta see this with your eyes man because I mean I feel like it's mountainous city because I see mountains everywhere man and you see have you watched um, this movie Black Panther See, like this place gives you that feeling of Black Panther, man. Where the guy was speaking to the ancestors. So I feel like everywhere the ancestors are here. So I need to just go somewhere and see what I'll be able to speak to the ancestors, man. Talk to me nice. Talk to me honestly. Look in my eyes. Don't let it fall on me. Say you're a good guy. Make me believe it. Don't want to hear it. I want to see it. Anytime you cross a checkpoint, they don't check you. Yeah. That's even, women privilege? Yeah. Even some taxi drivers, when they take, like, when I take a delay around town, it's really like if you have a woman in the car, it's okay. We won't hassle you this time, but we'll catch you next time. But for sure. the borders, if you're women traveling, honestly, feel free. It's, it's, there's, no, there's no worry. Wow, because the last time we traveled with uh, Mohammed to Berbera, like, they were checking Mohammed all the time to get there. Here we are. This is our second checkpoint and no one has asked anything. Women privilege, women privilege. As a white privilege in Africa, man. Yo, yo, yo stop distracting the driver. City. Okay. City trees. This trees here. Uh, this what? Trees, trees. Uh -huh. Trees behind oh, the, the road. Okay. All trees. They say if we come out, when they get married, they you have to plant a tree. Yeah. Yeah. Love story. So yeah, this love tree's story. right here? Yeah, it's a yeah. tree story. Each, love story. Each tree was planted by a couple. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So what if the tree dies early? <laughs> I don't know. It's up to ah, <laughs> which means the relationship didn't last long. That's how it is. Just, just maybe. Maybe. Yeah, oh wow, they've planted a lot of trees, yeah. man. Yeah. What's the name of the city? Gebile. Gebile. Oh, so in Gebile, if you are driving in Gebile, you definitely see trees along the road. So definitely means that as a couple, if you immediately get married, you need to plant one tree. 
That's amazing. Look at that initiative. It's, it's That's amazing, very man. So, what if you marry five women? Uh -huh. Oh, sorry. You have, you have blood color. You have a resort. Ah, 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 nice. You have a resort, bro. Yeah. You have a resort. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> 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 so funny. <laughs> wow, see, they planted trees everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. God, jeez, I've been seeing more. Uh -huh. He's hiding, man. You hiding? Don't hide. Come on, don't hide. Yeah, what's up, bro? What's up? He's come, eating. Closer. come, come. Yo, that's good. Yo, we don't really see this on the road, man. It's crazy. Finally here in Boroma and currently we are at Amut University. I mean one of the prominent investors here in Boroma. So yeah, I had to come and visit even though it's raining, but I mean the feeling in here is exceptional. I know he's definitely coming to see me. What's up man? How are you doing bro? How are you doing? Good. Good. Good to see you man. Yeah, Finally man. Cold? So cold and no one wants to save me here. <laughs> no one. Hey, uh, hi. I supposed you know, to go up from market, but it was off. So oh, at least nah, you don't, don't worry, man. This one will yeah. be better, bro. At yeah. least I don't want you to die See, in Burma. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he doesn't want me to die, so he brought me. Nah, you know, I've gotta wear this right oh, here. Wow. Of color, man. Is this your old classmate? Uh, Boats uh, from China, by the way. Boats from okay. China, yeah. of course. Okay. I don't speak Chinese, <laughs> yeah. I mean I, I don't know what happened to like the people of this place. All of them are they go to China. There's a lot of Chinese speaking Somali, eh? Yeah, man. Oh, what's up? Cheer, cheer, cheer. How do you feel after being in Boroma? I feel refreshed. It's like a whole mountainous region that I didn't know existed. So this You've is never been amazing. here before? Never been here. Why? Gibili was the farthest I went. My car can barely make it here. <laughs> you finally made it? Yes, alhamdulillah. What are you going to tell people who have never been to Boroma? To 
step out and make it here because it's a very refreshing region. It's green, it's lush. I'm thinking there's a lot of students here, so there's a lot of good conversations. Come through. This is the showroom of Sural. Uh, Who owns this place, man? It's Dad. Mr. Abdurrahman. Hi. Hi. How are you, man? Fine. You own this place? Yes. You started everything by yourself? Yes. That's amazing. Mm. Why you started something like this in here? Why, why, why he decided to start something like this? And he said after I saw the, all, the, all the Somali business were bringing clothes from the abroad and he started this business and the next year the, all the clothes will be made in Burma, in Somali region. So, so it's going to be the first company who made its brand clothes in here in Somaliland. So he wanted to stop importation. Yes, he wanted to stop bringing clothes from outside. So where is he getting this clothes from right now? Now from China. From China? Yeah. But he wants but to... No. He get these clothes from China, but the company is constructing now. The building is continuing now. Yes. So, so constructing a, a yes. cloth manufacturing manufacturing here in here in Boroma. Yes. So that yeah. very soon very soon we will make the clothes in here in Boroma. We can export whole of Africa. That's that amazing, amazing, man. Yeah, that's that's amazing, man. That's so Zuro? Zuro? Yeah. I'm definitely gonna come back again when the whole manufacturing plant is ready. This guy. I I love it already. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Man. I'm definitely coming because Eid is coming. The Eid ceremonies and the celebration of Eid is coming. So basically, we need to shop, man. You, you brought us here in the right time. Thank you. I'm gonna buy this. Yeah. What are you gonna say about your friend's business, bro? It's an amazing. Like he's a young entrepreneur. He's so young and he owns a companies like this. And you no, know, the most interesting thing to tell is that the next year. Any African businessman can bring his clothes, any design, any kind of clothes from Buru. That's the most interesting thing. Exactly, man. And I will, does he have any message for a young African entrepreneurs? Yeah. The message that he's sending to the African, the African entrepreneur is, like, Africa is a market. We need to be manufacturers. We need to produce something. We don't want to be market anymore. We need to be manufacturers. Yeah, that's the message. That that's is. a beautiful yeah. message, man. I want to say thank you so much for having me. I appreciate your time, man. Okay. It's rather unfortunate that when you arrive in Boroma, it's never stopped raining. So we had to abort the mission and go back. And when we decided to go back, we came across this. So, where are we going, man? There's something you can do, bro. Yeah. Can we swim? Huh? Can we swim? Swim? Yeah. Oh, man, you can take me away, man. Yo, we stuck. We stuck now. And I went to Harikasia and we stuck. This is what we go through as content creators, man. We just went to Boroma to create content, but yo, as we coming back, the whole place is flooded. So there's no way we can go. I don't know if we have to start looking for a hotel to sleep over here. God damn it. And we have a place to go tomorrow morning. I think we're gonna spend the night here. And after spending three hours waiting for the water to drain, we had to go find food to eat and continue our journey. And after 30 minutes of driving, this happened. Like we stuck. What's the time now? Uh, it's 8.30. It's not 8.30, it's 9 o'clock, man. I can't even see myself, man. I'm stuck in here. You know what? A day in the life of a vlogger in Haregesia.